This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is David Tabatsky, who is a McKeesport native, now living in New York City, an author. And he's written a terrific book. And David, thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it too. You know, coming out of the high, the Jewish High Holy Days, I thought this book was a very appropriate read. And I want to have you discuss it. Can you hold it up for a second? It's called The Boy, sure. the boy Behind the Door. The Boy um, Behind the Door. The How Solomon Kuhl Escaped the Nazis. It's a fascinating book. And it's really written for teenagers Although for adults, it's a very good, easy read. David, tell us about the genesis of this. How did this come about? Well, um, years ago, I met a businessman in New York City through a literary agent, and he was trying to get the story of Solomon Kuhl written because he had met Solomon in Aruba in the night, early 60s, just on a holiday. He was there with his wife, and Saul was there with his wife, Nettie, and they met and Saul was involved in the Jewish community in New York. And he realized that, that, oh my God, I'd never met a Holocaust survivor firsthand. They're standing there in the ocean. He said, you've got to tell the story. Well, that relationship went on for decades until Sa uh, Sandy finally said, hey, we're, we're getting older. We're getting too old. We've got to get this done. And he basically commissioned me um, to, to write the story. I went to Amsterdam. I met with Saul. He took me around to show me where he was when the Nazis came in uh, and invaded the country um, just a week before his bar mitzvah and how things progressed until his family was taken to what was at the time the Jewish theater of Amsterdam, but the Nazis had turned it into the deportation center. So all the Jews in that whole area were then dispersed to concentration camps, including his three siblings and eventually his, both his parents. He was saved by someone who actually became pretty infamous, a German named Walter Suskin, who recognized in Saul that he was very short for his age. And so he was able to remove him from the adult collection center and take him across the street into basically like a kindergarten, a creche, where babies and young children were. And he could pass for a boy, even though by that time he was 16 years old. And so... The next few years, he escaped and avoided the dragnet of the Nazis in Amsterdam from one place to another. And then um, a whole different group of resistance fighters arranged for him to stay in rural Holland in the north with different Christian families until the war was finished. It's a tremendous story, and it's one of great courage. You know, I like the fact that you've written this in a way for young people to learn more about the Holocaust. Uh, the Netherlands was really hit. Uh, I think most of the Jews in Netherlands were ultimately uh, executed, murdered by the Nazis. Um, Sal was one of the lucky ones, uh, to be honest, but the story of how he survived is very interesting. Why did you wanna to write towards this audience in particular? Well, like you said, at this time of the high holidays, which is a very important time of reflection, I don't think just for the Jewish community, but it could be symbolic for everyone. We all need that time during the year, during our lives to reflect on history, our own personal history and the history of our community at large. And this is a time to realize that the phrase never again and to always remember, these are things that are very important, especially in the times we live in where the political situation and the far right movements are very dangerous. And I think that the younger generation need to understand that they must take responsibility to be sure that individual and communal freedom is perpetuated in our, in our world. Well, again, this is a tremendous book called The Boy Behind the Door by McKeesport native son, David Tabatsky. David, <laughs> thank you so very much for being with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.